Hello, I'm Richard Goff and uh, I'm a ranger at the park. I don't know all the history, but I know a fair amount of it. The, um, this was originally the powerhouse, very big building for a powerhouse, but anyway, and all the engines ran from the floor underneath. Underneath this building there is another floor as big as the building we're sat in. We know that it's chock-a-block with brick rubble and there are lots of very strange stories about bits of tanks and other such things buried in here, but we do know it's full of brick rubble, tons and tons and tons of it. The actual engines came up through the floor on the right hand side in here and we think they were run on gas, not 100% sure, but we think they were and the engines used to um, power the whole hospital from end to end. It was a major effort. The um, mechanical hoist was used, we think, from the Americans using it to lift engines rather than the Victorians using it to lift other things, but they probably lifted the engines into the floor with that in here. But what an effort, it's massive. It runs on railway tracks on the top. The, um, the hoists themselves, one pull on a piece of rope will lift up a lorry, which seems amazing, but it's so simple it's silly. You just pull on the one rope and then you can wheel it across from side to side. It's very, very clever. and. Uh, Whoever thought it up was a genius. <laughs> we use it for a number of items we have lifted up in the past, but it's not tested anymore and can't be used anymore. But the actual engines we think ran on gas. They came up through the floor in here and the electrics from those went out and all the way around the park to cover the whole hospital. The windows in the downstairs of this are still visible. They have been bricked up like all the other windows in this building, but they are visible and so is the doorway to the right of the old door. You can see the top of the main entrance into this. It must have gone down 10 or 15 feet into the road outside and gone in at an angle. How they did that, I'm not quite sure. And when it was filled in, I don't know that bit either. Uh, the store is now used for storage for the whole park. Most of the things from the chapel at the moment, because it's being renovated, are all in here. And we can't move for everything in here and it's causing us chaos, but anyway, that's life. Please like and subscribe for more content from the park.